Good morning, students. Our second chapter is also over, and today we will discuss the question answers of this chapter. What is left in last video's part? So here are the question and answers also. Define a plateau. By what other name is it called? A plateau is a large mass of comparatively flat land that rises abruptly from the surrounding area. Abruptly means suddenly from the surrounding area. It is also called a table land. Next question. Distinguish between an intermonet plateau and pedimont plateau. Intermonet plateaus are enclosed or surrounded by mountain ranges, example Tibet and the Great Basin in the USA. Pedimont plateaus are formed at the foot of the mountains, example Patagonia in Argentina. Argentina. Uh, sorry, Argentina. Next, how are volcanic plateaus formed? Give an example. A lava plateau is a void, flat surface formed when a large amount of layers of lava sheets flows over an area. This thin and runny lava cools and solidifies to form volcanic plateaus. Example, Deccan in India and another one is snake in the USA. How are residual mountains formed? Mention their characteristics. Give relevant examples. Old fold or block mountains worn down by millions of years of erosion sometimes get converted to plateaus. These plateaus are also called mountains of denudation. This type of plateaus have steep sides, pointed or rounded top and high rocky land. Example, Cumberland in the USA, Central Rhine in Germany. How are plateaus useful to us? That answer you get in page number 14. And more two questions I have asked in last video. That are compare erosional and structural planes. And how are erosional planes and depositional planes different from each other? These two questions answer you will get in page number 18. And from today onwards, I want to give you some revision work of page number, uh, sorry, of chapter 1. Today you will find out the answer of this following questions. Define GLOW. Learn three merits and three demerits of GLOW. Define MAP or what is MAP? Both the answer will be the same. Learn merits and demerits of MAP. What does the scale of a map show? And the last question is, write down the importance of maps. This revision works, questions and answers, you have to do it in your rough notebook. And the chapter 2 question answer, what I have discussed in this video, that you have to do it in your fair notebook, students. Once again, I want to show you this is one, two, three, four number. And rest part, to find out the answer, you have to go through in page number 14 and page number 18. Read the another topic of chapter 1 after the maps topic. In next video, I will asking you the questions from that topic. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.